ABC 10 News starts now. From the city to the shore and all those surrounding areas, people are revved up for the holiday weekend. It's easy to get excited about this. We are breaking it all down for you with team coverage that includes Glenn's all important forecast, Andrea Klein Thomas, who's taking in day two of the Wawa Welcome America Festival. Sydney Long is live in Atlantic City. Sydney, there is a lot to do down the shore this weekend, including some new things. Jacqueline and Keith, that's right. It seems like everywhere you turn around here in Atlantic City, there's something brand new, even for those of us who come all of the time. New restaurants, new hotel rooms, and plenty of people soaking it up on the beach and the boardwalk. I can tell you there was a lot of new ribbons on the boardwalk today, marking what's new, not just for the holiday, but the summer beyond. It is the weekend known for red, white, and blue and America's birthday, but Atlantic City is tangled up in pink, the longest ever ribbon cutting in AC history, where two iconic tram cars pulled ribbons, one from the south end at Albany Ave and one from the north on Pennsylvania to meet in the middle of a two-mile stretch. Two, one, three. Today's pink festivities are twofold to promote entertainer Pink's July 12th concert and raise money in the fight against melanoma. We thank you for allowing us all to be together to celebrate. And perfect timing to escape having too much fun on the beach or too much sun. <laughs> Phillips Seafood celebrated a new twist on an old favorite, opening its new Phillips Crab Shack on the boards beneath the pier at Caesars. Now you can enjoy you know, fine dining experience right on the boardwalk. It's nice because you can just grab and go and keep walking and see everything. Charlotte and Tom Kutka among the first to sink their teeth into something salty and sweet with complimentary crab cakes, calamari, and frosty daiquiris. They're celebrating summer, the fourth and 39 years of marriage. We're going to a barbecue and I made fresh blueberry pies. Lots of specials in hotels and restaurants and local bars. Whatever your flavor, there's no shortage of fun and excitement for the kickoff to the fourth. Tropicana will show off fireworks Saturday night at nine. And then on uh, July 4th, we'll have two fireworks, one over at the Bugatti and one here. Okay, so among the fun, the excitement, the drinks, food, and sunshine out here on the beach and boards, there is a serious side to staying safe during the holiday weekend. While the ocean lures us to the beach, the rip currents have been especially strong, even dangerous, not just in recent weeks, but in recent days. So we'll have that rip current forecast along with some advice to keep you and your family safe coming up at 5 and 6 o'clock. We're now live in Atlantic City. I'm Sydney Long, NBC10 News. Turning now to this kickoff to the holiday weekend, people are hitting the roads for holiday fun, no matter where you are headed or even if you're sticking closer to home. NBC 10 is keeping you in the know. Tonight, we have team coverage. NBC 10 First Alert meteorologist Glenn Hurricane Schwartz has your holiday forecast. We begin with NBC 10 South Jersey Bureau reporter Sydney Long. She's in Atlantic City, where thousands of people will relax this weekend. Sydney. Hey, Jacqueline, you can bet on that. Way too many ways to relax and enjoy if you're in Atlantic City or some of the other shore points this weekend. And we have plenty to show you about what's new. But first, if you plan on being on the beach, especially after the lifeguards go home right now, they're asking you to follow some old school advice and don't let your guard down. It's that time to take a break, take a plunge at the water park, a surf lesson, a hand-dipped ice cream. Families are enjoying a taste of all the Jersey Shore has to offer from Brigantine to Cape May this holiday weekend. And beach patrols in between are fully staffed for your safety. Red means stop. So you see a red flag, that's probably an area you shouldn't be swimming in. That's because rip currents have been extreme in recent weeks. Today's conditions scaled back to moderate. Even so, lifeguards on some Atlantic City beaches use ATVs to look out for the currents. The lifeguards had the red flags out, so there wasn't a lot of swimmers, but the kids all had fun in the sand. Charlotte Cookta and others are grateful for time off and the safety reminder. The fourth for many is about family. Well, they're leaving me with the kids because they're going to a casino. So you're the designated babysitter? Yes, basically. <laughs> Walking on the boardwalk is just uh, New Jersey pastime. And on a weekend devoted to all things red, white, and blue, it's all about pink in Atlantic City, a celebration to promote pink's upcoming concert July 12th with a historic two-mile ribbon, a history-making event. Yeah.
The goal to raise awareness and money to knock out melanoma. Down the boards a stretch, a new twist on an old favorite. Phillips Seafood celebrates the grand opening grab and go seafood shack. The local community wanted the crab cakes back. They wanted the seafood, the calamari. So we gave them what they wanted fresh seafood right on the boardwalk. And let's not forget the absolute favorite for the 4th of July holiday, the fireworks. They will happen three times here in Atlantic City over the next several days. On Saturday night, Tropicana will put on their show about 9 o'clock. Then again on Tuesday, Borgata will have a fireworks show as well as a spectacular event right here offshore on the beach or boardwalk. You won't have a bad seat in the house. We're live in Atlantic City. I'm Sydney Long, NBC 10 News.